Entón, esta é unha serie de tres entrevistas feitas a persoas que atenderan o evento da Hima de Tomar a fin de semana do 10 de novembro en Portugal. A idea un bocadinho disto é expor a algúnas das persoas atendentes a este evento e aguardo que a outros tamén no futuro para que poidan mostrar o tipo de práctica e estudos que están a facer nas artes marciais históricas europeias. Nesta entrega vamos ter a Karim Verelz e a súa entrevista vai ser en inglés porque ela é flaminga que é bióloga molecular e antropóloga e leva moito tempo a treinar a Sima. En Tomar presentou un traballo xa presentar en Dillón este ano antes sobre o Abrazzare e o Bastonchelo de Fiore de Libre vai nos reflectir tamén un bocadinho acerca da importancia do traballo da luito corpo a corpo nas artes marciais históricas europeias So, um, uh, so Karin, uh, tell us uh, Hello. who you are. Hello. <laughs> uh, tell the, the viewers uh, who you are, what you do. Uh, I'm Karin Verels. I'm from uh, Belgium, Belgica. Um, I have been doing since nearly 10 years HEMA now. I have been and still am studying with Alvin Guthals in Belgium. He runs uh, one of the oldest clubs, Sparta. He's an excellent teacher. I owe him very much. Uh, but apart from that, I have been enlarging also a little bit into the Streza, working a little bit more into certain aspects of dagger, and bastard shell theory, things and things like that. And I have cooperated with the founding of a Brussels group. I'm not teaching there anymore now, but I teach there in the beginning. So since a short while, I'm starting to develop myself a little bit more as also uh, not only a practitioner and a competitioner, but an instructor of HEMA, slowly, slowly. And I'm very happy that I could come here in this event in Portugal and practice Abrazari and Ringen with really very dedicated students. So, uh, um, uh, you would say that you are most uh, a generalist, or, or um, uh, are you sort of specializing perhaps in, in, in Abrazari and Ringen? Or? Uh, so the weapon I practice. I focus completely on is the German longsword, of course. Oh, yeah, not of course, I mean, but that is the German longsword. In our group, we always do Ringen or Abrazari as part of the curriculum. This is really something important, and I, I have made this, I have absorbed this idea completely. I'm convinced that you cannot be a good swordsman or swordswoman if you do not do close combat in whatever kind of form, be it Abrazari, be it Ringen, whatever. And from there, Abrazari ringen to the dagger work as well. And from there to the close, close combat work with the sword, the ringen, arm, sweat, everything. I think for both your positions, um, your stability, uh, execution of techniques, etc., etc., it is crucial to do ringen and Abrazari, and I like it. And as it happens, I have been focusing on the bastoncello, the short stick of uh, Fiore, and apparently there is interest in it because it is very good basic tool to demonstrate principles of Abrazari and to work with the idea of some self-defense applications as well. So I'm, I'm developing slowly into that direction, yes. Um, well, that's, um, uh, um, that's very interesting. I, um, the um, Dobringer, the Dobringer uh, manuscript. manuscript, the, the uh, 3227 a Yes. Yes, because um, we all know actually Dobringer did not write yeah. the book. Yes. <laughs> uh, so it says that uh, all uh, fencing comes from, from Ringen. Yes. Um, uh, so uh, uh, would you um, uh, 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 encourage people to, to, to really to develop their, their uh, wrestling skills, their, their, their ringing skills? Do you think that's a necessary uh, field that we should develop more in the uh, fencing schools around the world? Absolutely. I mean, the so-called Dubringer manuscript is the oldest manuscript you have in the Lichtenauer tradition. It is one of the most detailed described, it describes in the most details the principles, the ideas, the techniques. He says Ringen is the basis of everything. I believe him. <laughs> if we look at Eastern Mar Asian martial art, we see the same. This is not a coincidence. I think, in principle, of course, every group develops as as it wishes, but I think in principle it would be good if every group would have some aspect of 
hingen nog aan Brazari close combat in het curriculum. I believe it's really necessary. So I hope that Ingen and Abrazari, close combat, clapping, everything becomes more important in Lima. If I can contribute a little bit, I would be extremely happy. Uh, I remember that uh, we talked uh, yesterday um, uh, that um, uh, uh, it's not only important in itself, uh, uh, ringing or wrestling or uh, Abrazari. Um, uh, I mean, it's really interesting in itself. Mm. But, um, uh, it also prevents you from uh, uh, changing or distorting the distance at which you actually practice the long sword. Because uh, if you don't fear the other people's wrestling, or if you don't know how to wrestle with yourself, uh, you may, for example, come closer to the other person when you're fencing. Uh, mm. Yes, like yes. That, so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, both in the Italian uh, school, I'm not very well versed with the Italian long sword. I only know the bits and pieces, but they have Gioco Largo and Gioco Stretto. In the German school, you have Zufechten, Angreifsphase, Kriegsphase, this is three distances. But from the moment that you are coming into distance, the possibility of closing the distance and going to touching the other person's body or weapon is there. And then you can do a lot of things. Of course, it is very difficult. I find it still myself extremely difficult to do this, even in sparring. But there are things, it's, it's also a state of mind. You're not okay, afraid yeah. anymore. You can, you can choose on what distance you're going to work. And if you're there, very often you see this in the competition, people standing like this. And everything stops. stops yes. Yeah. And I must admit, it happens to me still very often. But then, if, you, if you, your mind and your body at a certain point say, Oh, I can do this arm lock. Yeah. And then suddenly you can do that and, and, and your, your fighting becomes complete and, uh, uh, and they know you can do that and the fun fighting changes. They won't yeah, come yeah, close, yeah. they won't stay yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. And at that distance, that's where the sword technique works. So yes, everything yes. makes more sense. Yes, 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 yes. That's a very, a very good point that you're making there because I, I have not so clearly think about this. Thank you for that. If you know that the person can compose and knows to do his or her techniques, um, that means that the other person has to take this move into account and fight responsibly because you do not want just to be killed. So it is one of the. It is indeed one of the ways to to ameliorate technical fighting and responsible fighting and respecting distances and doing the proper techniques at the right distance. That's completely true. I agree with that. Yeah. That's, uh, I think we should really uh, uh, try to, to, to uh, spread that, that idea because, uh, I mean, everybody likes different things and uh, perhaps someone likes more the, 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 the ringing, uh, the, the wrestling work, or, and other people may like more this world, but um, uh, we, we tend to uh, uh, segment the art into the weapons, and uh, it's really uh, one one whole art, uh, which encompasses ringing and, 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 and the long sword and the short sword, and the, um, even some of the Polak's uh, 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 techniques uh, works with the um, uh, with the swords too. So um, you should not try to uh, have it all in your mind and, and work it as a whole. That, of course, is right and it is the ideal, but uh, we are still far from that. I, again, am very happy that uh, in our school, our teacher, Alvin Goodhouse, brings this idea from the start. I will not claim that I'm capable of doing it, but I try. If we can contribute something to it, I would be extremely, extremely happy. I also want to say, bringing in itself is fun. If you do it in a responsible way, it's fun. And it is very often not necessary to be very strong and hard in this. In general, it means the people do not really know what they are doing. Many of the techniques, if you do spying in a gentle way, many of the techniques are, are, are just working without, you need to be fit, then, etc. But they are working without excessive force. If you need excessive force, you're probably doing something wrong. Uh, and um, in, in the year you have been practicing, uh, you know, um, 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 have you seen um, the interest for, for, for ringing or for Sade Gold? Uh, perhaps more people practicing? 
everything is going in the right direction? It's, it's, I do not know whether there are so many more people, but I, I, I generally notice that there is interest. I, people, I see also people looking for ways to develop yeah, competitions, I do not mean like just only competitions, but ways to exchange and do sparring and do I mean, practice combat in practice. So I think there will be more and more space for it and more and more interest. Also when we go from ring to the use of the dagger and this kind of stuff, um, not for competition of course, but uh, I think indeed that people are becoming more aware, becoming more interested and less Less afraid, probably, yes, well, because there are some really good people out there who can show. I, I, I still look at them and I think, oh wow, I want to learn this. So there are still, they're becoming more and more good fighters that become teachers, and I hope that uh, this will indeed spread the gospel of King and Abazake in the Himalayas. Well, um, I hope so. I, I think uh, we are seeing some more steps, uh, like so on. You have been uh, teaching these seminars uh, in Lyon and here and I don't know, uh, somewhere else? Uh, this is the first two times that I teach them. Yeah. Yes, well. yes, yes. <laughs> I'm very happy. It's extremely, um, how would I say, satisfying and gratifying and I have seen such dedicated, good students, beginners and advanced people and I mean, you see them grow, I grow myself uh, I'm extremely happy to be here. This is a, a really wonderful event. So, uh, well, thank you very much for, for, for coming here and uh, for teaching us a different topics for the region. Thank you. Thank you for being here and thanks for being here. Okay. Is, this, is this okay? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> oh, thank you very much.